Hey friends, welcome back to the homestead. Tomorrow is the first day of turkey season and we've got a lot of preparing to do. We're doing a uh, guided hunt for the governor's Tennessee governor's one shot turkey hunt. And every year our family volunteers as hunter guides, bring some people out here to the property and, uh, and try to track down some turkeys. been wet the past two days which means the road might have washed out again Try to stay to the right. Most of the uh, ruts and things are on the left hand side where it's all been washed out. Try not to die here, get stuck. Looks like we made it up. Whether or not we'll make it back, that's another question. It's beautiful up here. So one of the things that we try to consider when we're setting up a blind for turkey hunting is the direction of travel that the turkeys usually take. So on our property we have our west ridge on this side and then over here on this side we have our east ridge. Usually the turkeys will all roost up on the west ridge. That's not necessarily how it goes every time but for the most part that's usually where we see them loosen up at. And they'll come down from that point down there and they'll walk up this middle field and they'll pass all the way up to this road beside the pond. That's what they usually do. What I have had them do is roost up here on the east ridge and come down the ridge and pass right up there at the top of that field and then go up about halfway up the west ridge and travel around. The problem is if you set up in the lower field and see them coming from that way but we wouldn't be able to see them in the top of the upper field or we could set up in the upper field but we wouldn't be able to see them in the lower field So we're at a crossroads. Had more success in the lower field with turkey. So I think that might be what, what we'll try and do. Let's go set it up in the lower field. We'll set something up down there. Lord willing. We'll be making the right decision.
that worked. So bamboo is an invasive species here in Tennessee, but uh, a lot of times it comes in pretty handy when it comes to using it for building materials. We've got a whole bunch of it just a little ways up on that ridge. For some reason, that's the area it likes to grow. It really hasn't spread to too many other places around here. Um, so we've got the, uh, the blind set up here. It's a little bit bigger than I was remembering, so we should be able to fit a couple guys in there. It's got windows on all sides. We cleared out a cedar tree and a couple other trees out of that spot over there a couple months ago and uh, had this pile sitting here waiting to be burned. So I think that that'll offer a plenty of cover and kind of hide the blind so that when the turkey's walking up from this direction, they'll just see the pile that they normally saw. Awful quiet. I hope they show up. Well, that was an adventure. Not an adventure unless there's a risk of death. It's a good truck. I like my truck. This is venison jerky. I just took some of our deer steaks, cut them up, and uh, put them in a little marinade. Uh, let them marinate overnight, and then this morning got up bright and early and put them in. It's just about perfect now. It breaks or it cracks, but it's not broken. That's delicious. Mmm. Little snacks for the hunters. Could be a long day.
All right, got the box blade all loaded up in the truck. I'm, my father-in-law is wanting to borrow it to clear up his driveway. He's got a little John Deere tractor that uh, he can tow it around with, but he just didn't have a box blade. But what he does have is a tiller, and I'm going to borrow the tiller and till up the garden. Maybe Sunday afternoon or Monday? Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully it'll be dry enough been so stinking wet all year been just looking for an opportunity to do it but we're about running out of time so we're gonna go pick up that tiller drop off the box blade and then head to meet the hunter that I'm supposed to be guiding tomorrow for the opening day of turkey season close <laughs> we got an inch to go that's okay we've got a tiller in the back of the truck did a little swapy swap he needed a box blade I needed a tiller and uh, so we made it happen my father-in-law actually raises bees he's got like 16 hives right now which is crazy but uh, here, coming the middle of the month or so, uh, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and get a hive ourselves. So he's volunteered to help make sure that we know what we're doing and get it all taken care of the way it needs to be taken care of. Um, so we got some preparation to do for that. Um, and then uh, beyond raising bees, they also breed little uh, Roosevelt Terriers, Teddy Roosevelt Terriers. They're one of the best rat dogs and varmint hunters there are. Uh, they're always telling us stories about the latest critter that their dogs are, are bringing in. So if, uh, if you don't like cats and you need something to take care of something around your, uh, your property, you need something to take care of the rodents around your property, consider a terrier, a little rat terrier, Teddy Roosevelt terrier. Now we're off to check in for the governor's one-shot turkey hunt. So we'll go check in and get our little goodie bag, meet our hunter, and then head back to the house because I think we're supposed to be having pizza tonight. I'm supposed to be bringing the pizza home. Blows my mind that people are still able to build houses Price is so outrageously high. So we're here at the factory in Franklin. It's where the banquet and event is going to happen. Let me uh, see if I can call Papa and find out. Uh, if they're here on their way or what their plan is. Hello. Hey old man. Hey. What are you doing? Um waiting on Sabrina. Really? Where's she at? I don't know. If you're waiting on her, you know how that goes. Keep me keep me updated. Okie dokie. I'll do my best. Alright. Bye bye. Love you. Bye. Alright. In typical fashion, he is late. Waiting on my sister. So, it's almost time for me to meet my guy. I'll go in, check in, use the restroom, and see if I can poke around and find out 
who it is that we're supposed to be meeting. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If, uh, if you found this video at least entertaining or maybe somewhat informative, I don't know, did we really do very much informative today? Who knows? But if you did, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. And if you've not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing and see more of what we have going on here on the homestead. Sorry, I'm distracted by all the things moving around me. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. I told you I four tail <laughs> I bet you weren't expecting that. Did it with the four tail. Oh sh! Come on, some brother. <laughs> Holy sh! Dude, this is freaking incredible. Mm -hmm. You did it, man. <laughs> you did it. Oh, yeah. That's a beautiful bird. <laughs> what does spurs look like? Not too bad. Not too bad. <laughs> there you go. Heck yeah.